Hey YouTube, I hope you all had an amazing week today. We are going to be doing a super quick tutorial on how to do fade ins and fade outs in Logic. Um, to start out, I just went into our Apple Loop library and dragged over a guitar loop. So let's just take a quick listen to that. All right, so um, to start off, the way we open our, fa um, our fade tool is by going to our pointer menu and clicking fade. A quick way to do that is to click T and then A. You can see um, if you click T on the keyboard, you get a whole bunch of uh, quick commands. So I like to just you know quickly do TA. Um, so let's say you're getting to the end of your song and you want to do a super long fade out. It's really as simple as um, going to your audio region and dragging. So this one is a pretty long dramatic fade. You can also do quick ones if you're just coming uh, kind of to avoid to do easier transitions um, kind of in between parts. It can sometimes kind of ease your way into the next part. You can also do fade ins. Now something you might notice is that the, cur the line that gets drawn here is sort of similar to an automation curve and you can actually while you're in the fade tool go ahead and make concave or convex curves to your fade so this will be really quiet for a while and then dramatically increase in volume this will be really quiet and quickly increase and then slowly reach the peak volume I used the enter key there to return back to the beginning of the track. Um, so that is the quickest way to do fades, fade ins and fade outs. Now in between your tracks, let's say we've got um, you know, our arpeggio one and a different arpeggio here. So let's get rid of this fade. So now I'm going to show you how to crossfade. So to crossfade, we're going to start in one audio region and drag into the other one. So what this is going to do is kind of blend the end of this track into the beginning of this stem. You can make this long and dramatic or short and subtle. I'm going to use shift option scroll to zoom in a bunch and then shift to scroll back over. Okay, maybe uh, just zoom in like this. Get it nice and small. Make sure it's centered. That's a much more subtle way to transition. And that is a quick tutorial on how to use the fade tool in Logic. You could also, if you want a little bit more control, go ahead and add a utility gain plugin to your track. Um, hit the A key to open up automation. And note that you can still see your automation or your fade in the automation window because it sort of is a built-in automation and what you can do is click whoops that's volume we're gonna command Z go to gain by the way I did T T to go back to my standard pointer tool we are going to add some gain automation and let's say I want to do a bunch of little drops one at a time you know, maybe we want to spike back up for a second, go back down, maybe have this bar be a little bit louder. You can also fade out using your gain automation. And I have a full tutorial on 
gain automation, which I will link down in the description. But um, a lot of times just doing TA and drawing a quick fade is a lot easier than automating gain. All right, so another neat thing that you can do with the fade tool in Logic is you can, for a specific region, we're going to click it, click this drop down up here, click more, and you can see there's a fade in and a fade out tab. Now what you can do is you can actually click in fade in and change it to speed up and you can change fade out and change it to slow down. You can use this to simulate um, if you have a record speeding up or slowing down the rotation. So this is a neat way to do a sort of tape stop um, vinyl kind of slow down effect. Oops, we've still got our gain automation in there, so we're just going to turn that off. Yeah, let's go ahead and disable the plugin. And similarly, we can do that on the front end. Oops, let's uh, do it on this one because we've got our crossfade still on on that one. So because this is a different region, we have to go back in there and change the fade into a speed up. All right, that wraps up our quick tutorial on the fade tool in Logic, how you can use it to fade in and out of your individual stems, how to cross fade between different audio files to avoid pops and clicks, as well as how to change the fade tool to be a speed in and a slow down option to get a sort of tape stop effect or record uh, tempo change effect. I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments, questions below. Be sure to correct me if I was wrong. Uh, subscribe for more Logic Pro 10 tutorials. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day or night. See you next time.